Hi, my name is Dennis Hong. I'm an associate professor in mechanical engineering at Virginia Tech. I'm also the director of Romella, the Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory at Virginia Tech. In our lab, Romella, we work on many really, really exciting projects. Uh, for example, the superstar robot, so to speak, is uh, one of our uh, miniature humanoid robot, autonomous humanoid robot called Darwin. Darwin stands for Dynamic Anthropomorphic Robot with Intelligence. So it's a humanoid robot. So we started this project in 2004. Uh, we thought, uh, you know, we want, we want to understand human locomotion and, you know, what better way would there be to make a humanoid robot and try to make it walk? So for the software, we decided to lab, use LabVIEW because uh, many of our students in mechanical engineering, uh, they don't have, uh, you know, the full experience with computer programming, but this graphical, uh, you know, program language was perfect. So besides many of these really exciting robotics projects, we have another project called the Blind Driver Challenge. So in 2007, the National Federation of the Blind, NFB, challenged the research community about who can develop a vehicle that can be driven by a blind person. We accepted this challenge and we developed the very first and only vehicle in the world that can actually be driven by a blind person. The key challenge is how do we, how do we convey all this vast amount of data real time fast enough to the driver so they can drive who cannot see? So for that, we developed many different types of non-visual user interfaces. So the, the heart of the system, the core of the system is a compact real system. And the reason why we use this is because it enables to, us to easily connect to this many, many different devices, starting from uh, simple uh, Hall effect sensors for the wheel uh, uh, the speed to something more sophisticated like a whole wheel uh, uh, laser range finder. And also, of course, the FPGA allows uh, real-time data acquisition and computation so it can process the information and send it quickly enough so the driver can receive the information and drive a car safely and independently. So as you know, for many of our projects, we had a lot of success using LabVIEW technology, from the DART Barber Challenge to the autonomous robot Darwin to many, many different projects. We save a lot of time and effort by reusing a lot of the codes that we already developed, VIs. So that saved uh, our team a lot of time and effort.